हेलो एवरी वन हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर साउंड एंड हेल्दी सो लेट सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन सो एज यू कैन सी बिकॉज द आर एच एस इज जीरो सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन विच इज ऑफ लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन विथ कॉन्स्टेंट कोफिशियंट आर एच एस इज जीरो सो वी डोंट नीड टू फाइंड द पर्टिकुलर इंटीग्रल वी आर will only restrict ourselves to the complementary function so how to solve this the first step always in this type of question is to find your auxiliary equation so what will be our auxiliary equation just replace this d by m so it will be m power 4 minus 2m cube plus 2m square minus 2m plus 1 and then equate it to 0 now how to solve this this is interesting so i will tell you a trick on how to solve this a uh, first we need to find its uh, solutions so how will we find that just focus on the coefficients of the terms so coefficient of m power 4 is 1 coefficient of m cube is minus 2 that of m square is 2 if any term is not present let's say m square was not present here so you would have written zero after that so coefficient of uh, m is minus 2 and the constant term is 1 okay write a zero below the first term add so you'll get 1 now before that what will we write here so here a uh, first root you have to find by hit and trial okay so let's uh, hit for 1 whether 1 is root or not so 1 minus 2 is minus 1 let's write it will be better so 1 minus 2 plus 2 minus 2 plus 1 okay so 1 plus 2 3 plus 1 4 and minus of 4 so exactly 1 is one of the roots so you will write 1 here now first step was write the coefficient write a zero below that add now multiply this one with this one you will get one write this below this minus 2 okay again add them so you will get minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 again multiply with this you will get minus 1 write that here now 2 minus 1 you are just adding so you will get 1 1 into 1 is again 1 write it here Minus two plus one is minus one. Again, multiply. You will get minus one. Finally, you are getting zero. That clarifies that one was one of the root. Now, from power four, we have now reached to power three. So you can write this as um, m cube minus m square plus m minus one equals to zero. Now again, find one root by hit and trial. So let's uh, check for one. So if you check for one, one minus one plus one minus one. So two minus two. Yeah, one is again a root. So you write one here, and here you write the coefficient. So which is one minus one, one minus one. Write zero here. Add. One into one is one. Add, you will get zero. Zero into one is zero. You write zero here. Add, you will get one. One into one is one. You write one here. Add, you get zero. Now we have reached to quadratic, which is m square plus zero m plus one equals to zero. Fine. so we have find the root first one was 1 second one was 1 and third one will be third and fourth one will be m square equals to minus 1 so m is plus minus iota so the values of m are m1 equals to 1 m2 is also 1 m3 is your 0 plus iota and m4 is 0 minus iota. now these two are repeated so if i were to write the complementary function 
so for repeated root how we write uh, we write c1 plus c2x into e power what is the repeated thing e power m1 m2 is same so e power m1 x so that is simply x okay now for the remaining two because they are complex uh, for complex if suppose we have a plus iota b and a minus iota b they are conjugate so we write e power ax c1 cos bx c2 sin bx so here because already we have used c1 c2 write c3 and c4 and a here is 0 and b here is 1 so we will write like this e power 0x and then c3 cos bx b here is 1 plus c4 sin bx so if I were to write finally, I will write uh, C1 plus C2x e power x plus e power 0x is simply 1. So C3 cos x plus C4 sin x. So this becomes my final answer for this question. So I hope you understood the trick as well how to find this uh, roots as well as the rules for complementary function. First one was for repeated roots. So we write like this c1 plus c2x e power whatever common root is there into x. And for uh, conjugate complex we write e power ax c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx. Rest everything was fine. So I hope you understood this question. First you find the auxiliary equation, we solve the auxiliary equation to find the four roots as 1, 1, iota and minus iota. Then finally we uh, wrote uh, what was the complementary function and finally we know that particular integral is 0 in this case. So my final solution will be Cf plus Pi. So because Pi is 0 my final solution will be C1 plus C2x e power x plus c3 cos x plus c4 sin x so this will be my final solution so i hope you enjoyed the video thanks and have a very nice day